Stranger to the microphone. She's doing some amazing things. She's from my hometown, the Bronx, New York, so we know we had to get her in here. A long time overdue, but we finally made it work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nine Free Lounge, the super talented Kimmy Cash. What's going on, darling? Oh, man, I'm just happy to be here. I'm, I'm happy to sit here and talk to you guys. It's so interesting. I've been keeping up with the show, and it's always I something interesting that. spoken about and, and real everything. recognized. Yeah, well, real recognized, real. And no doubt. Thank you for having me. Without. <laughs> I'm sure Mama knows she here. She ain't home eating <laughs> eating cereal. But no, and again, I, I follow you as well, and I, I you know respect your movements and your team, and um, like you know us. when it you know game recognizes game. So welcome to uh, your first interview here. I call the best team in radio. Now you 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 hail and raised from the Bronx, New York. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm from the Bronx. Um, I was I was raised in Washington Heights. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I was born Presbyterian. Cause, um, in the Heights, 168 in Broadway, mm -hmm. and then I, I was raised in the Bronx my whole life, most of my life, so I, I proudly say I'm you from the Bronx. Know. What you mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you just getting started. Yeah. You know, when you have experience, you feel, you feel wise, you grown. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I feel like I got so much experience and, and wisdom that I feel grown. Yeah. Now you, know? you you're again you're a talented artist. We got one of your songs. You'll play a little later. Um, you know, I, I mean, I think you used to model, if I'm yes. correct. So you you have a lot to the table. What what has excited you about the musical stuff that you know maybe you didn't get from the modeling, or is it? Oh, okay. I mean, talk about that a little bit because again, I mean, sure. for those who are on radio, you can look at Kimmy's page. Kimmy's a beautiful woman. You don't need my me to tell you that. <laughs> but what was the the, the slice that said, you know what, I want to pursue the music more. That kind of changed my direction. Yeah. To me, <clears throat> the whole modeling thing is cool. I love it. I love becoming someone else and dressing up and, right. and promoting different clothing lines. I think it's fire to be able to do that, you know, and, and represent something and stand for, for something. Mm -hmm. But the music is having a voice. And, I, and I've always wanted to have a voice, so that definitely was the key. What can I do to have a voice? Okay, I'm posing here, I'm taking pictures with this fly clothes. You know, this is hot. But I can't really say nothing besides just showing who I am. How can I say something? Mm -hmm. So I woke up one day and, I, you know, I've, I've done it since young, this whole music, writing my own lyrics, doing my own tracks. <clears throat> so I really want to take this serious and I want to mm -hmm. be able to send a message. And the message that I really want to send is, you know, be yourself, be happy for who you are. You know, stop trying to stunt. And, and we talked about be, that earlier. Trying to be something you're not, you know? And, and right. it's, it's such a strong message. It might just be little words, right. but it means so much when you can stand and say, this is who I am. Take me or leave me, you know? And, and, and that's how you know who's really there for you, when they take you as for who you are, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and that's always something I've tried to tell people, be yourself, because it's like if people put you for what you have and, mm -hmm. and what you got going on, then are those really people that are there for you? Right. I want to see what you was Halloween. You said you thought the dress. I was like, what was oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I did a few concepts. I was um, <laughs> I was uh, Poison Ivy. We really nailed that. I'm glad I'm not dead. She said in my chair. No. <laughs> <laughs> you start scratching, you know what it is. <laughs> and then um, um, 
on Wednesday, official Halloween day, I was a unicorn. I had the unicorn mask. Really? And then, you know, yes. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you, if that was, if you put the 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 mental behind that, but that actually is a great costume for you, just based off what. You the message. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and it did have a message behind it. Everything I do kind of does have a message mm -hmm. behind it, and, and that's what I love about myself. The message is even behind a mask. You could be so many things. You know, you could take off this mask and still be yourself, and that's the best part of it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, when I do this rap stuff, I might get under a mask and, and turn into this tough or whatever person, but when I take that mask off, you have all me. Uh, me. And, you, yeah. and this is who I am, with a mask, without a mask, and it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's the heart. Right. It doesn't matter. Like, when I, when I die, God bless all of us, right. I want people to remember me for who I am for who I was, you know? Not what I used to be or what I fronted to be or what I rapped about, but who Kimmy really was. And, and that's the message that I want to send always to the world. Be yourself. Be remember for who you really are. And seeing that you really, like the, the message that you portray is pretty heartwarming because you talk about where you were and where you're now. It's, it's pretty kind of emotional. Yes. I, I can hear it in Very. Voice. Yeah. Exactly. We're talking to Kimmy Cash from um, Rap Recording and Artists. Now, being a woman, obviously being just being a minority and a woman, you know, um, it's hard. Just we see in this world, our worlds become. But in the entertainment game, with all the Me Too and a lot of things going on, it's been really heightened. As a as a woman, as an attractive woman, nothing wrong with being that. How how are you? I guess presented. How are you? You feel you're respected as an artist. Do people look at you as like the image Kimmy, or do they respect? the verbal, the, the skills, Kimmy. I mean, do you have to like set people in place? Well, you know, talk about that a little bit, what you well, mean. Well, I, I definitely have to set people in place, mm -hmm. Kev, all the time. I, I definitely have to tell them, no, 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 don't, don't, take, don't take me for what I look like. Take me for what I could bring to the table. And, and it's something that's so hard to deliver. And it's, it's so easily said, but people don't take you serious because they look at you, you got, well, in my case, I, I got a, a beautiful body yeah, yes, you do. that I was born Nothing with. Nothing wrong with that. That I was born with. Yes. And, and, you know, and, and it's hard for them to take me serious. And, yeah, come on, sit down, let's work. Yeah. It's more like, can we do something personal? Mm -hmm. Or can we get it? You know? <laughs> and, 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 and it's always something I got to, like, push back. Like, hey, you know, I'm trying to do work. I'm trying to get here to get to the back. I'm not here right. to play around, to kiss and, and play See, games with you. No, and they don't, and it's because it's because they think more of a sexual type of thing than a, a more let's get this money thing, and, and you know, and it's like I'm okay, not <laughs> I'm not a video vixen. Even if I did come out in a video, i that that's not my goal. This is not what I want. I want right. to be a big big star, and you getting in the way right now, you know, interfering with the business. Right, don't situation. put the elbows up high. All the time, I go through it all the time, and women go through it all the time, because most men have the upper hand, I'm sorry to mm. say it, in this music industry, and we always got to struggle with that. That's a fact. So let, let, let's let's talk about the music now. Again, we, talk, we, we acknowledge that Bronx and Washington Heights, but growing up as a, somebody who had a passion for this rap thing, home of, the, home of rap, Bronx, New York, and like I said, Washington Heights is right here. Talk about some of your influences. Who who did you try to emulate or follow that helped nurture that? This is what Kimmy wants to do for a living. How, how did that all come about? Oh my God! Um, way back, way back. Not like what's I'm way like back? That Three years ago. Way back. I'm sure it's not way back. It's him. <laughs> But, um, you know, oh just God, say. Yeah, funny. I can't. <laughs> it's all love. I mean, mm -hmm. way back to, like, Tupac Shakur and, mm -hmm. and Biggie and, and Eminem and people who really were, you know, put in a category because of race and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And those are definitely <clears throat> inspirations to me because it's like they said it how it was supposed to be said. They right. couldn't be said better. You know, Eminem said I'm white. You know, I can't be a hot rapper because, you know, Biggie opened the doors and this, and and it's been hard because, you know, all the MCs were this race and I'm white. And he still is who he is today because he didn't stop. And he said, I'm white, but I'm nice, and I got talent, and I'm a beast. And he mm. stood for it, and he believed in it, and he made everybody else believe in it. And if he could do it, then why can't I do it? Right. Now, you said, what about um, any female artists? Female. Yeah, I 
female artists, I always, I, I, Queen Latifah been a big one for me, and, and TLC, I grew up yeah, that's doing. Old yeah, that's old school. But yes, I was little, but I remember. He and wasn't. He was. I, I was little, and I, I remember the lyrics, and I remember the, you know, Missy Elliott and mm -hmm. all of them. You know, I remember Aaliyah, all of them, I watched their videos, and I'm like, wow, like, yeah. that's my dream. That's yeah. my dream, and if they could do it, then why can't I do it? And, and race should never be something that should put interference in your heart because if anything, that you should be even prouder to be whatever you are and come from it because when you do make it or when you try to make it, you represent that. Now, you, you, you've, mentioned, you've mentioned race three times. It has, has that been something that people have come at you, you know, and I mean, so you're saying you are Caucasian. So no, I'm Hispanic. Hispanic, okay, yeah. but you, maybe you being people perceive you as something that you're not. Yes, or, all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes it's like, oh, but well, you're not black, so mm. why do you rap? You mm. know what I mean? It's like you sound like a black girl when we hear you in your rhymes, but you're Spanish. So I'm like, it doesn't matter what the hell I am. It right. doesn't matter what color I am. At the end of the day, if I have a message and I'm nice, then I want to be respected for that. But why do I have to be in, in a category? Or oh, you're yeah. not spat, you're not this, you're not right. that, you're not black, you're not. It shouldn't matter. At the end of the day, if, if I got 10, then I got 10, and then this is what I'm offering. The world we live in, the, the greatest golf and tennis, female tennis player black. <laughs> no, um. I, what's your creative process? Because everybody that you mention is probably even from the singers to the to the female rappers, they all creative process is brilliant. Oh, so uh, that's your tutelage. I'm just trying to figure out what's your creative. My process. creative process is, is is putting words together out of nothing and making sense out of it. And and just like Missy Elliott, she will sit there and say ten dumb things. But those ten dumb things made a lot of sense. Yeah, I still don't know what he, 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 I don't even but know what that is. But you know, she put it well together. So it's like Eminem too, very, very lyrical. Uh -huh. yeah. It's just sending a message through, even if you say something dumb and then say something real significant and it makes sense and put it together well, that's creativity. Right. It's not really that easy to say something sometimes. Sometimes you tell somebody something, they don't listen. But make a little rap or make it a little catchy and then it's funny, that's it. It sticks to you and you get it. And maybe like that you get it better than just regular words. So the creativity just comes from just playing with it. You know what I mean? I, I love to freestyle. I love to do stuff like that. So it's like you have to be creative and you got to be mental now, or jail. Now you said freestyle. Can you give us a little, can you no. give us a little freestyle right now? No, don't do what? that. That's not what we do here. Oh, right. No, she's not doing that. She may that. be ready. We got her music here. That's oh, why okay. Oliver's sitting there. He's going to let you. Is that your brother? Get your man. Get your man. Anyway, but we can put the music in. Kimmy, you, 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 you got a sore throat. I'm, I'm, listen, that's yeah, here's right. another hole. <laughs> we'll make him rap. <laughs> baby, baby, that'd be you. Hey, the hip and the hopper, yeah, like, hey, rap is the light with you. Is for deck. I'm sitting at but, the corner. But um, I'm take a quick break. When I come back, I want to play the, the artist game with you. First thing that comes up when we mention the artist name. And also, kind of dive into the, the, the Kimmy Cash sound. You've been d dabbling a little bit on it, but I want to get a little bit more in-depth with it. It's Kimmy Cash, now Free Lounge, live on the Saturday. Come on back. Come in here making a mess. Now, if you laugh, you're back. One of my just a classic man joined, still joined by the superstar, no. lovely Kimmy Cash. Late. No. <laughs> I'm late. Late. You're right about that. I am late. Extremely I apologize. Late, I'm know. sorry. <laughs> I apologize. You know, there are some stereotypes that are real, like black folks being late, and he, he fits that. I got I'm obligations. <laughs> I know that. I'm joking. But um, I, I wonder, we do what we call our, our name game with uh, we name an artist. And uh, so let me tell you the first thing that pops in your head. Don't overthink it. Like a, no, like uh, like a SAT. First thing that pops in your head, okay? Let's First do thing it. That pops in my First thing that pops in your head. Okay, let's go. Drake. Say that again. Drake. <laughs> okay. Drake? Maybe that was it. I thought it was that she learned this game quick. Oh. Uh, uh, you said Drake. <laughs> uh, power. Okay. Usher. Rhythm. Alicia Keys. Piano. Jay Z. Uh, New York City. Bruno Mars. Stars. Got to give our old singer. Babyface. Babyface? Babyface? 
Um, Pass. That's very old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she got a thing and she talking about He told me go old, so no, I went like, old. When baby face was in the a, in the 80s, that's old. That might as well be the 40s for Kimmy. They got baby face rappers and singers, so you know, like. You I was going to say up. old school. That's what yeah. I was going to say, because I'm like, that's I, I, I let, old. I'll let Oliver tell you who baby face is. Okay. I'm sure he knows. <laughs> um, Neo. Neo. Um, Tyler. Got three more for you. Kendrick Lamar. Never system. DJ Khaled. Um, Slogan King. T.I. Um, King of the South. Uh, TV the show. South. <laughs> King. King of the South. South. King of the South. Okay. Well, yeah, ever said, um, uh, but yeah, Babyface, you know. Baby face is way talented. He'd be business. upset right now. She well, don't know me. That means he need to get back she to work. my music. You know, I'm baby face. I'm like baby face. I think I know who it is, but yeah. I got That's a little cool. stuck. So we've been, we've been talking about your sound and some of the things, but give, give me the Kimmy Cash sound. Somebody, because in the world of, and again, you know, we have artists that come here all the time, and you're in a competitive sport, similar to what we do in talk. But when it comes to that Kimmy Cash sound, the reason why you have management. What what was what is the Kimmy Cash sound? Give us what separates you from everybody else. What separates me from everybody <clears> throat> else? Throat> I guess is how raw my rawness and my my purity. As in, I'm not afraid to say that I came from the Bronx, from the hood. I'm not afraid to say that I wasn't born rich and that it's been a hard struggle. Mm -hmm. What makes me different is. I definitely believe that I have like a nori type of swag, like the Spanish English, because I'm 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 crazy in Spanish with the lyrics. I'm crazy in English, and I could definitely say it's like a more like a nori feel, but not too like like, like clownish. Like, nori. Not, nori. Not, nori. not like clownish. Yeah, no, 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 it is. Yeah, it is. No, yeah. He introduced reggae to the world. I love nori. Yeah, I love yeah. nori. Get the credit Socks. for it. Yeah. So I gotta give. I gotta they give, give it to Daddy Yankee, not him. Yeah. Uh, a very big inspiration to how my my style mm. is with my music, and mm. that's what makes me different. I'm I'm not scared to get out the box, and and mm. be Spanish and English and mm. swaggy. I would like to say we have something in common. We were born in the Bronx. We wasn't born rich. Well, you know. A couple quarters. Hood here, rich. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> couple quarters. Josh, you want to jump in? Uh, I don't even know where to start at. So I'm going to ask a question. Big pun? Oh, what, what do you mean? What, what's do you do, do you listen to Big Pun? Oh, Have you, yes, Big Pun. Because to me, he was really the entrepreneur of bringing Spanish rap, more or less, to the 90s. Because when you looked at it, we had Big and Big Pun. And some people will tell you, hands down, they could go back and forth with each other with no problem. I well, fat, I can show. I Fat Joe. Well, yeah. It, it, but I can go even but deeper Pum than that. Well, Pun was better than Joe. Well, all, we could call it just the way it is. I'm sorry. I'm honest about it. Pun was always better than Joe because Joe will tell you flat out, he took Pun's book, God Rest His Soul, when Pun passed away. And he started using a lot of Pun's lines. So... Mm -hmm. But to I, me, I, I always think look at Pun as the, with that, the entrepreneur, <laughs> the entrepreneur, more or less, mm -hmm. of, of Hispanic rap, in my personal opinion. You could correct me if right. I'm wrong, anybody. Well, I mean, again, I, I, for, again, yeah, I'm a few years older, so I think it goes beyond that. I can go, I mean, I can even take it back to Kid Frost. I mean, even mm -hmm. though it was, it was Mexican, but it was still Spanish, yeah. Spanish heritage. You can go, you know, again, it, it, you know, but every, every, every era has got their... The uh, you know that artist or that group yeah. that Manudo. defines it. Manudo. Yeah. Manudo. Manudo. Yeah, Manudo. Manudo was an R and B what? Spanish group. But they bro. did. They did. Rodeo thinks you can go Manudo. register to vote yeah. at the post yeah. office. So <laughs> don't worry they, about they, that. But they was they brought a lot. They brought Spanish. You know. You no, they give it they, to them. no. Yes, they, they did. did. Well, go to everybody was everybody Kimmy. was doing Manudo. Let me give you a disclaimer because I only I didn't did that in the beginning. Everybody was doing Manudo thing. He's a nice guy. That's my older brother. Nice guy, but he has a disease called Black Tourette. Here we go. Where he's actually he just says. Things that necessarily don't make rhyme nah, or nah. reason. But it's not funny though. We really need to address this disease because nah, he will. It's really, getting worse. It's getting worse. <laughs> like he'll still yell out in the middle of an interview. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Like, yes. He's hungry, I guess. Yo. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's just, he's, he's, he's just no. dysfunctional. He's dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> but we love him though. We love him though. We're here with Kimmy Cash. Now, obviously, I want to take it to another level. We we got an election coming up on Tuesday. Yes. Um, vote, people. Vote. You know, no doubt. And it, it's you know obviously for black and brown, it's a big election. Um, your thoughts on 
people you reach out to do your music and just do your your celebrity. Does those conversations come up about what's happening and, and, and how we can improve our, our areas? You mentioned coming from the Bronx and not being afraid to say, I come from the hood, I didn't have much. But, you know, knowing that voting and getting the right laws in place can, can help those situations? Yes, I mean, I, I definitely am a, a big um, believer and supporter of, of voting for what's right and for, for the best of our country because things are out of hand right now. You know, everybody has their own opinions about it and how they see it, but things are definitely a little crazy. You know, I don't want to touch the topic too much, but, you know, no, kids sure. and all that were put away and all that. It's a little crazy, you know, and, and it's, you know, it's, it's scary because we don't know to where and, 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 and what extent things are going to be taken upon, you know. So right. it is scary, and, and I do support that we should vote and try to pick the best person that's going to do the right things for us. No doubt. Let, let, let's move on to something else because she said, I don't want yeah, to go. I don't want to go there. Yeah, but any event, now I follow long. you on Instagram, right? We, we, we've chatted, and so you know we follow each other. Now, again, you put out some things the other day that even me, I was like, hmm, getting ready for this interview, and I reached out to Oliver. So you got a bio. I said, oh, I, I create my own little bio just following Kimmy on a daily basis. So uh, you put out something that you know, you said, hey, when I find that special someone, he, he going to get all this. He, he going to be showered. So being an artist. Thunderstorm. Yeah, tsunami style. <laughs> yeah. Now, being an artist, being a former model. Tony grabbed this like, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, wipe your mouth there. Um, <laughs> but in any event, you, 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 mentioned, you mentioned those things. But being an artist and being a model and being a public guy and out and about, does it find it hard to meet somebody that can deal with the Kimmy Cash persona? Definitely is hard. It definitely is hard because it's like, one, I'm, I think people find me highly intimidating just having me in their presence. Really? Yes. I, I feel because mm -hmm. they see that I know that there's goals that you can achieve rather than you can, can't not achieve. Mm -hmm. Because cannot is not really too much in my vocabulary. Vocabulary. Mm -hmm. I don't say can't a lot. Right. I say, well, let's see how we're going to take care of it. We're going to get it done. Mm -hmm. So that's a little intimidating <laughs> because men want to be able to say, I got this. But when it comes to a girl like me, it's like it's already taken care of. Mm -hmm. So it's like what I do for a girl that is chasing her dreams. She's in the limelight. Mm -hmm. People want to know who she is. People want to bag her. What can I do to stand out? <laughs> no, I got an answer. Now, are you ready? I got are you, the answer for that. Are you warmed up? Are you warmed up? Yeah, yeah, I'm good warmed. now. I can okay. take this off now. I'm good. Okay, now. Yeah. I, I did that for you there, Scholar. I wanted it's you to warm simple. up. It's real simple. You just got to, you know, got to be honest. And you have to just tell her that you have her back. If you tell a woman who has all that, I have your back, and you prove it on a day-to-day basis, fellas, it's real easy to maintain a woman like that, because that's all she's looking for is somebody to say, I got you, and I'm going to help you achieve what you got to achieve, because I believe in you. Once a woman knows that you believe in her, it's game over. You got nothing to worry about. And True. Back it up. Right. We, we mentioned that earlier. So, uh, but again, with that being said, once you're in it, is it is easier said than done? Like yes. yeah, like yeah, yeah, Kimmy, you know you you yes. you know make that money, and then you know you out four nights a week, and you at the club throwing smack in that tail, which I saw you do, and I was like, why she didn't invite me? But any event, then now it becomes an issue. So, bubble, bubble. but it shouldn't be an issue because <laughs> you should know what you're getting into already. But people know these parameters in. should already be addressed True. before you say, you know what, I'm gonna jump into this ocean and start swimming my best swim stroke. Because at the end of the day, the only person you could get mad at is yourself. Because well, you know what you're jumping into. Sometimes the arms get tied and people don't know what they jump into. Or they into. drown. Oh, yeah, or they drown. Thank you, Rodeo. Listen, if you drown, profound. you better get a life preserver. Can you better you man up. Can you state the truth? You got to be a real man to deal with that type of package. Exactly. You Facts. Not, you going to falter. The and you're going to break your wrist. Because you're going to be trying to hold her. Oh! And then she's going to be looking at you like you suspect zero. So if you're not a real man and you're dealing with a real woman that has everything equipped... We, we, we'll and, definitely have you guys the question of the day. Tone. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble. Yeah. <laughs> you can explain after just later. We don't have yeah. time. I don't even want to know. I'm we don't glad have time. I'm clueless on that one. I'm glad bubble. I'm clueless. Listen, we got, we, got, we, got, we got two minutes left in the interview. And again, I want to thank you for coming and mm. spending some time. 
time. I know you, you wasn't you today. You fighting you know, under the weather, and I thank okay. you for coming I, up. I still was gonna come. No doubt. But before you get out of here, again, you got a nice career, music out. We're gonna play that song a little later. Um, for our audience, and I know you, you probably had this conversation. Your, your mother, and your family, your management. What's the five-year plan? If you can pull a cloud over your head real quick, where's Kimmy Cash at in five years? The five-year plan. Yes, we definitely have this conversation. Um, I have it amongst my team. I have it amongst my family members. It's like, you know, you're doing this music thing. You mm -hmm. do your legit thing, too. You work. You're a hard worker. You're a hustler. Like, what do you see yourself as in, as in five years? I say, you know, as long as I'm pushing this and I, and I do put my songs together and I keep pursuing my dreams and going to the shows and interviews and meeting people, networking, I feel like in five years I should have a couple hit songs where I'm traveling the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it seems like, oh, you dream too much, Kemi. Like, at the end of the day, this is a dream we live right now. Right. You know, you and, have to dream yes, to achieve. Yes, and, and, and you have to dream to believe in something. If you wake up and say, well, this is a regular day, I'm going to just work and come home. What do you, if you don't have no dreams, then what are you working that job for to pay them bills and just die paying bills? Like, I know I don't want to die, just pay right, bills. Right, so right. I wake up and I say, well, I want to travel the world. I want to be able to sing on stage and network and go out and eat different foods and talk different languages and all this. And how can I do that? I'm not going to make that just doing a nine to five and coming back home. Impossible. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Well, you know what? I think your biggest problem is you need a good pair of sunglasses because your future's bright. Oh, they buy focals now. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't funny. Wow. Kimmy, give us your social media before wow. this, this black Tourette's kicks in more. Where can people reach out to you? Well, my social media is Kimmy Fly Baby. It's what I'm known for, for being fly, because everything I say is just real talk. We agree. And I, and I, <laughs> I believe that you can reach beyond the stars. And the skin, and you know the way you say the skies is the limit. Mm. You have a song called that. That's bullshit. Mm. No disrespect to Little Wayne. They're gonna get the us. Really, FCC don't limit. really come for it. The that sky is, is not the limit. You hear me? There's there's footprints in the moon. So if, if somebody could get up there, you could get on top of that. And where can they buy the music? And they could they could get my music in Spotify and it's it's gonna be on YouTube platforms, iTunes. Everything is coming real soon. We and we'll link it to 950.com yes, as well. Yes, and SoundCloud. My SoundCloud is uh, Kimmy Cash. Definitely Kimmy Cash. That's my artist name. And the Instagram is Kimmy Fly Baby. Kimmy Definitely. Cash, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for coming on the show. Anytime, huh? we appreciate thank you it. for having me.